Bible Fellowship Church. This is Pastor Chris, and I'm here with Daniel Bagapur. We're back for Digging Deeper. And uh, man, we just came off a great weekend, Daniel, with Mother's yeah. Day. Um, you know, I mean, what an awesome time in church as we were celebrating the women of our church, but, you know, really specifically moms. Right. You know, everybody has a mom. Yep. I mean, I mean like... Except Adam. I Except mean, Adam. Well, that's true. There's only one person that didn't have a mom was Adam, but... Everyone else, man, we all guess, we yeah. all started with our moms. Well, yeah, Eve too. I yeah, guess. Yeah, she didn't have a mom. No, she was. Hers the was. First it mom. was really weird because she's actually like descended of she's, Adam. Yeah, she came out That's of. That's really side. weird. <laughs> so, Science fiction well, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, when I when I was preparing for the message on Sunday, one of the things that that really got me was I I wanted it, and I was thinking about women and and particularly my mom and and my wife and and others and and you know a lot of women feel like they are just constantly working and doing things or, you know, uh, taking care of the kids or helping around the house or working their jobs and helping to support or whatever. Mm -hmm. And there's no recognition. It's like they're just completely invisible or unseen, if you will. And when I was meditating on that, it just reminded me of a scene that is described by John as Jesus is hanging on the cross. And... Um, and there, as he's hanging on the cross and he's dying, he sees his mom. And, uh, and I just that just struck me, man, when I was thinking about it. I was like, wow, that's just powerful. Like, I mean, out of all the things that he could have said, out of all the stuff that were going through his mind, yeah. there, there was a moment that John records where he sees his mother. And the Bible says that, you know, that, that she was there near the cross and then Jesus sees her. Um, what a powerful message, I think, just for people. You know, I mean, he obviously he could have, uh, he, he probably was thinking about how much pain he was in. He was probably thinking about, I mean, there was a lot of things going through his head. And I don't know about you, Daniel, but if I was hanging on a cross, I think I'd be thinking about a whole lot of other stuff mm. than that. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I, in, in tremendous amounts of pain. Yeah, you'd be in a lot of pain. I mean, the kind of pain that we can't really comprehend. Yeah. And but yet there he is and he sees her. You know, I think in that time, in that message, it was just a message really of, hey, you're not forgotten. I love you. You're important. You're valuable. And um, and and I want to take care of you. That was that was a whole message there. Like, yeah. I still have a desire to take care of you. And so Jesus was that kind of a son. Right. I mean, he's that kind of a God. Yeah. And so you are not forgotten. You are seen. I mean, it's just a powerful message. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, how many times have we sort of just washed over the stuff that our moms are doing or that, that others are doing in our lives and we don't take the time to recognize them or to, or to help them feel that they're supported? And, and I, I wonder about how many of the women that are watching this feel that way. You know, it's like, yeah, I, I just work all the time and Nobody ever says thanks or recognizes me. And, mm -hmm. um, but the reality is, is that God sees you. Right. And he recognizes what you're doing. And he's not forgotten you. Yeah. And it's, if it weren't for moms, we wouldn't have been saved. Think well, about that. For a lot of us, true. Yeah. yeah. And, and then Jesus wouldn't have been born. Too. Well, true, right? <laughs> you know? Right. So yeah. it's like through a woman comes the salvation of the world, you know, in a way. Well, absolutely. That's why Satan was like, yeah. I'm going to do everything I can to get rid of these people. I'm going to do everything I can to get rid of this child. Right. You know, but the mom protected him. Right. Yeah. Yeah, there's so much nuance in that, right? I mean, it's just, just such a powerful scene in the story as Jesus sees her. And then he says to John, you know, because John's the only guy there, by the way. There's four women at the cross and one dude. Yeah. You know, that were part of Jesus' circle. Um, and so there he is. Um, and Jesus says to John, John, basically, would you take care of my mom? Um, and, and he says something really interesting to John. He says, John, she's now your mom. Right. I mean, that said everything. He, he didn't have to give some deep description on, here's how I want you to provide for her <laughs> yeah, and take yeah. care of her. He just says, John, yeah. she's now your mom. I mean, that's a powerful thing. Yeah. And... Um, and we don't know what happens in her life and how that plays out, but we, we can be assured, I think, that John, John stepped up to the plate and took care of mom. And, uh, and so what an incredible thing. But God loves all of us, and He sees us. 
Yeah. And I think, you know, you, you had said something to me when we were talking before about how, you know, it would have been easy for Jesus to, to have just declared, you know, hey, I'm, I'm getting off the cross. Yeah. Um, I'm going to save myself and all that. Right, because he sees his mom, the pain in her eyes, seeing him yeah. get beat up. It's like... So there was an, amount, a, an element of suffering right. that he was experiencing yeah. as he watched his mom experiencing that kind of pain. Right. And so he had compassion for her and he loved her. Mm -hmm. And he loved her enough to stay on the cross. Yeah. Because he knew that was the answer to her salvation. Right. Because her immediate, her immediate hope would have been great if he just said, hey, I'm done. I'm not going to get killed. Yeah. But the long-term goal would have been failed. Right. He wouldn't have been able to save her. Yeah. And so in that, he saves her. Well, listen, we, we run out of time, Daniel, but this has been awesome. I hope you've been blessed today by this. And just want to tell you that God sees you, that you're not forgotten, and He loves you. And He's working on His great plan in your life. And we hope to see you guys again real soon. And we hope you're having a wonderful week. God bless you. And Daniel, thank you. Thank you, Pastor Chris. Yep. All right.